The television crew, like the rest of Australia, were barracking for Ian Chappell's team, a side comprising the cream of Australian cricketers, led by a skipper who had the nation's respect. And there's the shot he was attempting early on to Ian Chappell. Or a shortish ball, warmer upper, and uh, Chappell hits that well off the back foot. That's four runs, a fine shot. Short, and that's a good shot from Chappell. Four more. No ball and short. Four more. Great shot, Ian Chappell. Going to Ian Chappell. Full toss. Hits that well. Beautifully off his toes. Four runs. Yeah, come on. Plain shot. Good shot. And that's it. Downer trying the bouncer and Chappell has reached 100. Greg Chappell, the master batsman, a man who combines almost perfect stroke playability with an analytical view of the game. It's a fine shot. Shot. Four runs. Well, well timed. Four runs. Uh, the attacking play of opener Bruce Laird. And there's that shot once more. Down to Pete Midlick and it's going to go all the way. That's another six. Good sweep. Four runs. And he beat the man at uh, deep square, Barry Richards, and he certainly beat Joel Garner. Hit that hard and high. It could be another six. In fact, it is another six. And the magical David Hooks. In the air and safe. No man out at deep forward square. In fact, Hooks waited very nicely on that. It was a slower ball. Aiming at those foot marks. It's high in the air. John Snow could be six or out. It's six. Well struck by David Hooks. Rod Marsh. Well, what can you say? Explosive behind the stumps. Explosive with a bat. Cross, so it's Marsh. Great shot. That's the sort of thing that generally happens. That's a good shot. Great shot. It's a great shot. Marsh hooks again. It's beaten holding and in fact it's beaten the man down at deep fine leg as well. But... Then there was the Australian bowling attack. The spearhead. That truly cyclonic bowler, Dennis Lilly. Beaten. That's out, yes, coming from. Bowl him. The swing king, the character of Australian cricket. Medium pacer, Max Walker. Certainly on the evidence of the last two or three shots, they look now as if they want to get a, a few boundaries. Like a match anywhere in the world. Upside, well and if you were a little puzzled how Max Walker won that name of Tangles, this is a classic example. Actually, there's interference from the bowler there. That's not on. You bet we can't do that. And if Imran had wanted to, he could have had a free hit at that ball. It's in the air. That could be out. Four shot from Imran and Ross Edwards under it. And the second part of that cry, if Tangles don't get your Gus Will, Newcastle's Gary Gilmore. There's a few, he's gone too. It's out, caught behind the bottom edge, and that's the breakthrough that the Australians needed. Oh, goal him! What a good delivery. And what a great catch at first slip or even one and a half slips and Asif is distraught at that. 
He almost had the winning of this game, and Rodney Marsh has picked him up. The Australian side spinner, Victoria's Ray Bright. Out, Gordon Bold. Tends to play in front. He's pad. He's out. 350 or 400. That's out. And he's out, Gordon Bold. Have a look again at that controversial decision. Just how was West Indian Collis King dismissed? Collis King has hit down his stumps. Spurg umpire confirms, I think we'll see the finger go up here. I think he's got to be out because there was a fearful clump of willow on Ash. There's no question that he's either hit his stumps or he's been bowled. The ball hitting the off 